So I just took a huge dump. As you can see, I've been eating a lot of food and burning a lot of calories, so it was pretty big. I just took a shower and gonna do some hypervolt, but I'm gonna get some candy downstairs. I'm just burning so many calories this morning. I usually eat a lot, but I just feel like I'm constantly hungry, probably because I've been taking so many swings and just yelling a lot. And also, I'm a sucker for sour candies. I think they have some in the lobby. Look at all that glorious candy. Probably gonna get the Sour Patch and a couple noodles right there. All right, we're gonna do the recap as promised. We just came back from Shake Shack, had some good food. Not the most satisfying chicken sandwich, but what can you expect from a burger place? So how did today go? Playing against Pineapple was really fun. I mean, that's a strong team. Slunkers, another strong team, but still some frustrating moments. Like there's just some moments where I think we could be more aggressive and consistent to receive. And it's tough, we have different middles. We're used to playing with Brendan and Anthony and we're very appreciative of Arnie and Andrew filling in last minute. I mean, they committed to our team two weeks before this tournament. So we're just glad to have a team. And then the third match was honestly just shameful. <laughs> That's the only way to put it. To beat a team that just kind of fooled around in warmups and just, uh, I hate losing to teams like that. But I think we were tired or just not mentally in it. We're just fatigued for whatever reason. That's a match that's gonna to be tough to watch. That's probably one of the worst matches that we've played in a long time. I and mean, even at the last BLA tournament, we played well. I, mean, I thought we played much better than this one. We ended up winning a match, but we also had more of our original players. So we always have to keep that in mind. So it's just been frustrating that we haven't been able to come to a BLA event yet with our full squad. And we're looking forward to seeing what we can do. We have a full roster, but we're still having a great time playing very good volleyball. And we're looking forward to continuing to build the team because we are definitely having to start from scratch with the tall ones generation too. So that's it for today. We're going to wake up tomorrow. Uh, we get to enjoy a longer breakfast buffet. Thank goodness I'm already thinking about the food and then we play at 1030 and after that we're done. Hopefully we can end with at least one win for this tournament. See you guys tomorrow. Welcome to day three of the vlog. Last day of the VLA Central Division Cup. Last night we were super tired. I mean we played three best of five matches in a single day. Being a, a smaller team, we have to exert even more energy just to keep up. But Brant, Chris and I, we ended up staying and talking until 2 a.m. Even though we got back to the hotel at 11 a.m. Even though I always try to get eight hours at a tournament and I always tell myself I'm gonna do it and it never ends up happening, but that's okay because we were just hanging out and just having a good time watching the game footage. So even though our only game today is at 10.30, Chris and I, we're gonna go a little early, get breakfast, take our time to let the food digest. I love going early to tournaments just to watch the other teams. For me, I just love watching good volleyball, but it kind of mentally gets me in a better space because not only do you have to physically get warmed up, but you have to mentally, visually, emotionally get warmed up as well. And that takes a little bit longer. Today we're going black. Seasoned hash browns, we got the sauce that was so good yesterday. Bacon, which is actually surprisingly pretty crispy for being in a steamed container, eggs. And I finally have time to try one of the danishes. The fresh squeezed orange juice, real orange juice here. And it is getting progressively colder in Chicago. You feel the cold like into your bones. And it's windy. And the trees are suffering here. No leaves on them. Good. The sound of volleyball in the morning. Time it is. This is part two of the Elevate Poop program. Stacking up those inches, feeling weightless, bowels feeling free. That's what we're gonna do right now. 100% off. Discount code is I poop now. Poop program was successfully executed. Now we gotta get warmed up for our first game. And if we win this one, we found out that we actually could play a second game. We thought it was just gonna be one and done, but because we have four courts in this beautiful facility, we have a chance to play. Unfortunately, we got moved to this court. It's no hardwood. It's kind of like a hard linoleum floor, but there's a chance to play. That's all we want. We 
just won a huge set in five. That felt great. I thought just taking a set off was gonna be good enough, but we weren't satisfied and we came out swinging. Oh man, that felt so good. Not only did we win, but we won in five without uh, our regular guys. So now we gotta play right away. We're gonna go to a vending machine, try to get some Gatorade because we don't have time to go to 7-Eleven. To make things even better this weekend, Chris was in charge of the schedule and he thought we only played one match today and then we leave no matter what, whether we win or lose. So Brant changed his flight from 6 p.m. to 3 p.m. And then this morning we found out that Chris misread the schedule and if we win, we play again. So not only if Brandon couldn't make it, now Brant has to leave for his flight and we have to play with six people. So our middles have to play all the way around. But I mean, this is like a nothing to lose situation. These are the ones where you have nothing to lose, so try your hardest and just go for it. So we'll see what happens. Who knows? I think we will have a chance to win. Look at this final here on the main court. Smart play. out of that one that was a tough one our middles came through man dig serves setting do a little recap later so we're on our way back to the hotel and our bodies are beat up especially john he got hit in both eyes he's actually got a huge bruise here and today he got hit in this eye that guy's a trooper and his fingers got really swollen from a block but that guy's just super tough can't wait to get a shower get something to eat and just head to the airport everyone's eating the leftover Chicago pizza. It's actually pretty good cold. So we gotta ride a tram uh, to the actual airport terminal. Please, and this is perfect Please height. Arnie is six foot seven. Finally made it through airport and a chance to sit down. My legs are dead. Sometimes you're just so high off of adrenaline that you're playing. And I probably could have played one more match, but once the adrenaline dies down and you know you're done, you just, your body can finally relax. One of my favorite things to do is to get smoothies. It's like one of my favorite recovery drinks. You just feel so much more refreshed. Even though it's a lot of sugar, at least it's vitamins and minerals. And just the taste of fruit just makes you feel refreshed. So I'm gonna down this and wait for the flight. So I don't know if you can see right there, the web in my finger has been bleeding all weekend because it ripped open from just all the hand passing and blocking and it's been stinging like crazy so that's something that's been kind of tough to play through because it, it hurts and it's so dry here so my skin just got really cracking so looking forward to getting this healed up and get some lotion on it many hours later I actually fell asleep on the flight that's really rare because I'm exhausted from five best of five matches this weekend it's 10 p.m. and I am tired from the flight, but I gotta give you my recap on how the tournament went. So of course, coming to the tournament, we knew that we weren't going to have our two main middles and you just have to be okay with those expectations, but it was still frustrating at some moments. We really appreciate Andrew and Arnie for coming along the trip and they gave their best effort and that's really all you can ask of them. And they've really came through on the last day, especially against Infernal. They were digging balls that I don't think Brant could have dug. They were dialed in. And I remember giving a team talk before our last match, knowing that Brant wasn't going to make it to our last match due to the flight situation. I told the middles, don't think of yourselves as just backup options. When you're back row, you are the libero. Be aggressive, take the second ball, pretend that you are the libero and the best passer on the team. Not only did they serve great, but they played some great defense and we would not have won the match without their commitment to the defensive role for sure. I was pretty happy with how I played in the tournament, except for my serve reception against Pineapple. One thing that is unique about this level is not only are the serves pretty fast, which I can handle, but they're actually very well placed. When I was playing against Team Pineapple, I wasn't struggling with the speed of the serve, but it was more about the placement. They were serving in the seams, deep, short, to my left, to my right, 
and I just couldn't get a passing rhythm and they were making me move all over the place. So that is one thing I'm excited to work on is just getting better at my footwork and being able to read the location of jump serves a lot better. Felt like I handled the jump floats pretty well this tournament and I'm actually very pleased with my attacking. I knew that I had to be extra aggressive if we weren't gonna have as much offense from our middles. So I'm pretty proud of how that turned out. As of now, all of our players plan to make the next tournament, which is USA Nationals. And let's just hope it stays that way because we have yet to have everyone together at a single tournament. I felt a little bad during the last game, but I also don't feel bad at the same time. It was a moment where the right front blocker who blocked me a few times started talking trash to me. This guy was very talented and he stuffed blocked me on a couple sets. And as he was blocking me, he said, get out of here. And you know me, if you start talking trash to me, I'm gonna talk trash right back. So there was this one play where I crushed it down the line and I just screamed in his face. And I was like, oh yeah, and I screamed at him. And then he turned around and looked even angrier. And then the very next play, I got blocked. And then he yelled across the net. And then the ref told him to tone it down. And the guy said, hey, he's talking trash to me, which I was. After he finished talking to the ref, I shook the guy's hand and says, hey, I know I've been talking trash to you, but I've been trying to be a nice guy this whole time until you started talking trash to me and told me to get out of here when you stuff blocking me. And I told him that if you're gonna talk oh, yeah. to me, I'm gonna talk oh, yeah. back. I'm not gonna back down. Part of me was a little worried for acting that way because I have my whole brand on the line. I'm the owner of Elevate. But at the same time, if you're gonna talk trash to me, I'm gonna get right back in your face. And that's just a part of me that I'm not willing to compromise because I am not gonna let people walk on me. Now, it was nothing personal because I still have a lot of respect for that player. I can tell he's a good guy who just gets fired up. And if I lose some fans or subscribers, I'm okay with that because I'm just not gonna let people talk to me that way or treat me a certain way. That's just not me. Make sure you check out all my other vlogs from previous volleyball tournaments in this playlist right here. And I'm pretty sure you're gonna like this video right here.